what a week, what a week. So a week later, last week, that was the end of the world. And we are coming back, a lot of euphoria, Tesla earning, you know, Texas Instruments earnings. Everybody's excited, okay? Well, you got to be careful of earthquake because for a couple of weeks, I told you, we're going to push the screener and we'll look at the screener and up, uh, stock opportunities for the week. And I'll show you some of the new position I enter with the guinea pig account. This $20,000 is the guinea pig account that leads to add to the $300,000 account. And I'll show you, okay, how I do it. I, I call that the bet account. I bet small size on this $20,000 account. If it makes sense and it sticks, then I transfer the ideas to the $330,000 on the retirement accounts. Okay, and those are mostly for the, um, uh, how do you call that? For the um, swing trading and long-term investing, okay? Um, so number one, the PC is coming, guys. So we have to be very careful. We have yeah, a couple of things to watch, okay? And what a week, you know, it's, it's incredible. You know, I've done this for a long, long time. I've done this for 30 years, investing, trading, working for funded account, working for small age funds, you know, mostly trading my own money. It's always amazing me, this, this cycle, this cycle curve, you know, not only is it a, 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 a market cycle that usually works like this, we pull back two years, we go up four to seven years, up cycle, so it's like a two year down, four, seven year up cycles. But what you see also here with what happened last week with the Middle East, Israel, Iran, and all that uh, uh, craziness there last week, is that markets do mini cycles, that psychology works also in a week. So. We were coming, optimism, excitement, thrill. We have the, the, the um, Bitcoin uh, halving. Everybody is buying meme coins. And then we start having anxiety, denial, fear, desperation. People panic and boom, and depressed for two days, two hours, and boom, people start again. Okay, the bombs are done and we start again. It's incredible how this economical cycles, guys, not only work on a two-year down, four-year up cycle, and that's how you make true wealth with asset protections and tax efficiency, you know, even as a trader, even as a swing trader, even as a long-term investor, but they work also like for a week. Like we went pretty much in a week with the Middle East through the entire economical cycle of, you know, having a lot of euphoria, having a lot of despair, and now we have a lot of hope coming back with the Tesla earning and the Texas Instruments. So you got to watch very much this PC numbers coming Friday. The core CP, PC numbers are very, very important numbers. They're almost more important than the PPI and the CPI numbers. So we have to be careful because for the past two weeks, I told you the probability power indicator patented unique in the world right? We're giving us an 87% chance of the market selling off and we're still at 76% chance of the market selling off. So I'm very careful because if I put a structure line within the top of the box, remember, if you are new, we have 100% chance of selling off here, of a probability of a sell off here to the edge of this calculator and the edge of those calculator. Those two calculators provide an optimum range to sell, meaning reduce your long position within the economical cycle or delta neutral your position or get shot. Here, opposite is true, bottom of the blue and the edges right there and right there provide opportunity to buy at 100% here and the 100% here of the blue. So somewhere here, I know it's going to be a fantastic buy opportunity. 
and it held perfectly the retracement on the division of third last week. So, by experience, I've done this a long time. We started having a little bit of an earthquake, you know, fear last week. And the key now is to know, do we go for a double bottom? Because I'm a big fan of second top. So like a, a one point will come here. But I have a feeling first, we're well, going to go come and retest here, somewhere here. And by the way, and by the way, if I compress the chart, right, you will see, so let's delete this crap and let's go back to the logic, that this is the 2021 high here. So the 2021 high are around 48.25. So 48.25 here on the SPX, right? 2021 high. And last week with all the Middle East craze, we went to about 49.50, right? Is that what it was? 49.50, yeah. So my thing is, do we go as we are about to bump to the top of the channel and a division of third from the tool of the 5,095 on SPX, that's not the ES, that's the SPX. Are we going to come and make a second low? And that second low close to the 2021 high would be a perfect rebound at one point this year for the double top around 4,600, 5,600, all right? So this is what I'm looking. I know we are on earning period, earning season. So it might kind of like fake a break, kind of stay around the edge of the calculator at 5,100. But you got to be careful of that second low. That second low, is always the most dangerous because it wouldn't match the 2021 high, you know, of 48.25, all right? So be very careful of that because then I think we're going to have the perfect entry for 5,600. Now, that being said, I don't like to fight the tool. The power train box showed distinctly that the institutions are net buyers for the past few days. They turn around the negativity there's net major buyer retail side, minor retail side. The overall net signal is up for the short-term traders, same on the long-term. But I'm still thinking that after we are done or close to done with the earnings, that you need to be careful to that second low, trapping everybody to that level right there, which is the 2021 high towards the 48.25, or if you look at the probability power indicator, which are unique in the world, patented and give you the probability, you still have a 76% chance of a retracement. So what happened here, you know, is I think that they might pump a little bit higher through the channel, maybe that shoulder, this is a head, they'll create a little bit of a shoulder around this, 5,095, but I think they are going to trap it here at 51.75 for one more shot in the 48.25 edge or a retest of that edge, which is 47.50, right? 48.25, 47.50, a second trap before we go make the new high for the year which would be the 5,600. So be very careful of those right shoulder guys. Be very careful. This, If this is helpful, your likes and comments are appreciated. You know, this is the type of stuff that allows you, you know, and allows me to trade real money. So look, what I have done for the past few days that we had some opportunity. So let me show you the bet account. So what is the bet account compared to the $300,000 account? So let me explain that quickly. 
I like to buy small sizes to prove my reasoning. You know, it's like I go fishing, I throw a hook, and if they bite the shrimp or whatever, then I go to the bigger account and I increase the size in the thinking. So what have I done? And I looked at our screener, and the screener was showing Mara. So I re-enter Mara at 840, not 840, 1886. I missed that 15 entry, but I talked to you about Mara last week because I was waiting for the RV. I bought some Tesla. By the way, I've never really owned Tesla, so I bought 15 shares of Tesla, which is roughly like what? $2,000 investment, right? I bought a little bit of Palantir, but I bought it a little early. You know, it went to 26, back at 21, 20. I think Palantir is going to be a great buy here, 1950, 2050, to add its playing the AI, it's playing the war, data mining um, theme for me. It's going to be really, really good. And I bought a little bit of Arc B. I wanted to like kind of started to play with it. The Arc B, um, the Bitcoin ETF. Then. And by the way, what I'm going to do with this small bet account is I'm going to Get, this is my piggy bank, the PayPal, but I don't like PayPal because it's connected to retail traders. So, because it's connected to retail, this is going to be my piggy bank here. The, on this small account, there's almost half of the account, $9,000. So I might sell another 50 shares and see how Tesla behave. I think Tesla, this 140, 150 Tesla was a great entry. And I, how do I know? Well, number one, I put $2,000 of my money for the last 48 hours as a bed trade to add to the $300,000 account, the $114,000 account here. You know, all of this, which, by the way, I owe you, um, I owe you an update on all the accounts. The last update was March the 3rd, which is fun. It's all, but I owe you an update on the account. So on those retirement account, right? I like to use that small account that I show you and confirm my bet to add to my Coinbase, to uh, my Amazon, my Apple, which by the way, I want to add to Apple as well. So if you look at some of the theme, but before we do that, I want to continue since I explained the SPX. I want to go to the ZN, the 10-year treasury. This is going to be the most important charts that you need to watch very, very carefully. So I spoke to you about this four months shoulder and this 105 head. And I told you for weeks, we are working a very symmetrical shoulder on the 10-year treasury, the ZN. But we have a problem here. If the ZN breaks the all-time low of 105 here, and so far it's holding perfectly the right shoulder lows, it's holding also the lows of the calculators, buy on blue, sell on purple, but if it breaks and do decide to go to the second calculator edge at 100% at 103, this is where, this is why I'm showing you this chart. Because look, you have the power trend box showing down, down, down on all of it versus up, up, up in the stock market. That's a huge divergence that you have to be careful. If you have the ZN showing down, institutional net seller, on the short term and the long term, the big block of retail traders, net sellers, on the long term and short term, on the bond, on the ZN, on that right shoulder, if we break that edge of 107, guys, on the 10-year treasury, this will open the new low at 103 below the October 105. 
And this will open the gate to the target I just showed you on the SPX when we started the stream at the 2020, 2021 high at 48.25 and 47.50. This is super important. Even if you are a day trader in futures, in options, with a, which I trade only with 5% of my asset, most of my assets are in retirement, in company ownership, in real asset, you know, owning storage facility, being an entrepreneur, right? You know, I degen with about 10% of my account, 5% for day trading and 5% for swing trading cryptos, right? But otherwise, it's all about cultivating, right? The retirement account, which I also do infinity banking on the retirement account, where I get a life insurance and I get fidelity giving me 70% of my asset here in which I can go put a down payment in some real estate deal and stuff like that. So all of this is true wealth with asset protections and tax efficiency. By the way, I got to know guys, we have done this stream only once a week weekly on Wednesday at 8.30 a.m. We are about to change the stream. 2 p.m. or 4 p.m. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. What is best for everyone? Can you give me a time? Can you guys <laughs> help us by finalizing the time? The more we wait, now, I cannot do the 8 p.m. I decided not to do the 8 p.m. <laughs> Ralph, the choice is 2 p.m., 1 p.m., 2 p.m., or 4 p.m. Give me give me an idea of what you think would be best. I'm assuming 4 p.m. after everybody's done with their day trading. But give me a chance to give you an opportunity to listen to what you have as the feedback. 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 4 p.m. That's it. So let's call it, let's say, 1.30 p.m. to 4 p.m. That's it. Those are the two choices. I got to know as soon as possible because if you guys want to know. Also, we are opening very soon the group for you where you will be able to come for free. Get the free indicators that we have for free. And very soon we will give you access to awesome classes that we used to sell. So you'll come to this community. We're putting it together. I will think well differently from before. You'll come to classrooms. You'll have access to the classroom for free. Some of them, how to master the wealth creations pyramid, the risk management. I did a six hour event on risk management. People said it was one of my best work in the last 20 years. I will give you guys some of that stuff for free, guys. Like, like absolutely just to help you. You know, this will change the way you think about your investing, your trading. 